We're back at the fair and we're here all day. That means it's feast mode time. Yeah, so let's find some breakfast. I got a Nutella and strawberry crepe with fresh cut strawberries. You can see it. Mm, mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. The crepe is like the perfect crepey texture. There's a lot of strawberries in here and a lot of Nutella, so <laughs> I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> Mini donuts are a classic fair food. Tom Thumb donuts are some of the best. They were invented and introduced at the Minnesota State Fair in 1949. Let's get some. Well, we got our mini donuts, one of my favorite. Let's have them. Mm. So good, so sugary. The information booth is a great first stop to get some handy brochures. Got a state fair map and a list of new foods and deals, drawings, and giveaways and the schedule for the day and a free button. The state fair has basically everything, including a haunted house. Have you ever been inside? Actually, yes, once. I was uh, 13 and I had been begging my parents to let me go in and they always said no and then I turned 13 and they were like fine you can go but you're going alone. I was too excited and I was so ready to go in and I did but then everything was scary inside and people were like jumping out I mean I guess that's the point of a haunted house you know and someone like a costume character reached their arm out and I ducked to get below and then I hit my teeth on the kid in front of me and my tooth went behind, my front tooth went behind my other teeth and it hurt so bad and I had to get medicine on a stick because everything at the state fair is on a stick. And then I was late to my first day of school because I had to go to both the orthodontist and the dentist so that they could fix my basically broken tooth. So that was fun. <laughs> so do you want to go in? Never again. <laughs> Once was enough. Let's go get some mini apple pie before we explore the egg hoard building. We got another new food of the fair. We got a mini apple pie. The new flavor is blueberry. It comes with ice cream. We chose cinnamon. Mm. Hot. Yeah. It's fresh. Yeah, very, very. That bite was only crust, so I'm gonna like. My, Burn your mouth. Yeah, I was, I'm really scared. Mm. Oh. oh, that's so good. Let's get some cinnamon ice cream. Mm. That is good ice cream, and it pairs perfectly with the hot pie. Oh wow, very good blueberry flavor. Lots of filling, very flaky. Definitely a five out of five. The Agriculture Horticulture Building opened in 1947, so it's celebrating its 75th year. It's also a really unique design for this building. There's a center rotunda that's 110 feet tall, and it's often decorated in a unique way. I think this year's theme is Halloween. Cool. Yeah, so that'll be fun to check out. And then the building has eight wings branching off of the center, kind of like spokes in a bike, and each wing is a different exhibit. So. That'll be fun to explore. Yeah, let's go check it out. We're in the apple wing. There's fresh Minnesota grown apples from the Honeycrisp to the Zester and the First Kiss. And right over there, you can line up to buy some. We got ourselves a First Kiss apple. It's one of, they call it First Kiss because it's one of the first apples that's ready for the season. Let's give it a try. Mm. Wow. Did you hear that crunch? Yeah. <laughs> it's super crisp. Chilled, so it's refreshing. Mmm. Just a hint of tartness. It's, it's wonderful. from Christmas trees to honeybees. They also have some very unique scarecrows. Would a state fair be complete without massive pumpkins? The one behind us set the record. 
our favorite thing to do in the A Accord building, check out the crop art. People make art out of seeds and it's kind of a huge deal in Minnesota. The competition is super stiff, so let's check it out. Crop art is a very popular exhibit at the state fair, so chances are good that you'll have to wait your turn in line to check it out. The crop art competition has been a tradition at the Minnesota State Fair since 1965, and a requirement to enter the competition is that you must only use seeds that can be grown in Minnesota. That's why it's called crop art and not seed art. One woman, Lillian Colton, became so good at crop art that she was nicknamed the Andy Warhol of seeds. Some of her pieces have a permanent display at the fair to honor her memory. The popularity of the crop art competition keeps growing, with 277 entries in 2022. We got the quesabiria from Andy's Garage. Oh man, just so much flavor. Well seasoned meat, crispy shell, very cheesy. So it looks like we got some shredded beef and raw onion and cilantro and this has been fried to a crisp. Oh my god. Right? Wow. Wow. Mm. So savory. And that onion adds just a nice tiny little bite. Messy. But easily five stars. We got a refreshing mango nada, which is mango soft serve and something else <laughs> and an edible straw here so let's give this a try okay well the straw doesn't straw so much <laughs> probably a little thick a little thick oh that is oh my gosh that is so good you have the sweet creaminess from the mango soft serve and you have like a little bit of spicy saltiness from the sauce and seasonings that are inside it. And the tamarind straw is a little bit of sweetness too. This is delicious. Have you ever seen a 90 pound head of butter? Well, you can see that at the Minnesota State Fair. Every day of the fair, you can watch Princess Kay or one of the finalists get her head carved in butter live at the fair. Right now, I have a corn dog in one hand and a prano puff in the other. And I know they look very similar to each other, but we're gonna do a taste off. So a corn dog is like a hot dog on a stick that's been battered with like cornbread batter. And a prano puff is also a hot dog on a stick, but it's been battered in like a flour batter. So these guys build themselves as a wiener in a bun. <laughs> that's their slogan, so let's give them a taste. A corn dog. It's good. Typical corn dog flavor. The batter's a little heavy. Very like corn mealy, you know, it's got that cornbread texture to it. Let's try the pronto puff now. Mm. Which do you like better? That's the clear winner for sure. <laughs> it's light and fluffy. It doesn't really hold you down, kind of like the heaviness of a corn dog might. Oh, I could eat this all day. <laughs> the Prano Pup was introduced at the fair in 1947, so this year they're celebrating their 75th anniversary. Start with the corn dog. A little bit of sweetness from the cornmeal. You're right, it's kind of heavy. Mm. I think you're right. Prano Pup's the winner because of the lightness. Now. We got the pork schnitzel sandwich from the Minnesota Farmers Union. So we've got a little slaw and some sauce. That's pretty darn good. Nice crispy crust, tender pork. That's very good. Yeah? I'd probably give it like a 4 out of 5. Food is a big part of the fair, but that's not the only thing. There's also almost 700 vendors here. Let's go check some of them out. It feels good. You can literally find everything here. It's about 
about noon on a Saturday. It's pretty crowded at the fair. Yeah. Uh, pretty overcast, which is nice weather right now. It's not hot and sunny. There's a slight breeze. Perfect fair weather. And we're headed towards the Creative Activities building to check out some blue ribbon winners. If you can make it, then you can win a ribbon in it. There's a contest for everything here. And now we're at the case that makes us wish we were judges here. They even have robot competitions. This guy is ready to enter the ring. The key to surviving a full day at the fair? A lot of sit breaks. <laughs> For sure. The state fair is 322 acres, so there's a lot to explore. <laughs> It just wouldn't be a state fair without some old tractors. This tractor behind me is from 1930. <laughs> There's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. So we're pretty happy that we brought our ponchos with us because it's raining at the fair. The state fair is great people watching and after a little break from the rain, we're gonna go and find some tasty food. It's not easy to make your way through the food building. No. <laughs> it's chaos. Well, we got some food. The hard part is finding a place to eat it. Well, we got some jumbo tots from Sunny's at the food building. Holy cow, those are huge. <laughs> it's got a lot of cheese and some meat. A little bit of chive, I think. I think the outside could be a little crispier, but otherwise they're very good. Probably a three or a four, three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. Pretty good. Those jumbo tater tots were ridiculously good. And then we got something to go with it from a different booth. Some nice refreshing blueberry lavender lemonade. It's called Queen Bee Lemonade from Soul Bowl. It's a new food this year. Technically they're a new vendor, so everything they have is new. Never seen a container like this before. Okay. Ah, just, well, okay, it's hard. Don't squeeze the... Don't squeeze the... Don't squeeze, squeeze the bag while you're opening yeah, it? Yeah, don't squeeze the bag while you're opening it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. I could drink this whole thing. <laughs> it's, you better not. Uh, well, <laughs> it's so refreshing. Oh, that it's like perfectly sweet with the blueberry. I can't really tell the lavender maybe. Yeah, you get it like if you sniff it. <laughs> and then like you get that tartness of the lemonade. Oh, it's so good. Behind me is the giant slide. And at $3 a ticket, it has to be one of the best bargain experiences of the fair. Well, we got a giant juicy turkey sandwich from Turkey to Go.
Mm. It's got some Cajun seasoning and some barbecue sauce, and the meat is just super juicy. It's so good. Well, we got a bucket of cookies for dessert. Don't worry, we're not gonna eat them all right now. But if you give me cookies, I'm gonna want a glass of milk. So let's go find the all-you-can-drink milk booth. And yes, that's a real thing, and I'm so excited. Time to dig in. Mm. Fresh made. Who doesn't love a fresh made cookie, right? Mm. Look at that. Mm. Well, I think we've reached our limit for yeah, the day. For sure. Yeah. We got here pretty close to open, and it's raining again, and we've had a lot of food. We just drank a lot of milk yep. because milk is super good. Our feet are hurting. Our feet are hurting. So we're gonna head out pretty soon. But before we do, I wanna know what your favorite thing was. Well, definitely those quesabiria tacos. Those were amazing. Oh my gosh. And then that, yeah. the dog show was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think those tacos were incredible. So we'll see you guys next time. Sugary, warm, I like it. People make seeds out of art. People make art out of seeds. If you can make it, then you can win a blah, blah, blah. Ah. <laughs> The chaos of navigating state fair traffic. Yeah. And you can just, you can just suck. <laughs> That's what she said. Thank you.